Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Yvonne and Goddess. I'm here to do my reading for Gemini. Gemini is from today, January 27th through January 31st, y'all. What do you guys need to know? What empowerment message do you guys need to hear? Um, I have already did the pre-shuffle off camera, but I will go ahead and do a shuffle on camera. I know you guys like to see that. While I was shuffling, um, it was like clarity, like clear, um, clear thoughts, clear decisions, like, you know, just having clarity or something like that is what kind of came to mind for me. And in addition, you guys, while you're here, please like and subscribe to my channel. And also, come follow your girl. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, Evolving Goddess 444. <laughs> and, y'all, you know, the readings are general. If you're wanting a personal reading, you can book with me. My information is in my bio. But the intention is set that you're able to resonate with something in this reading. Now, if the full reading does not resonate with you, please only take what does resonate. These are general readings. So the foundation is usually normally the same, but it could be about love, um, it could be career, it could be a creative project. However you, however it resonates with you is how you should take it. <sighs> Sorry. All right, y'all. Um, Y'all know I'm really into animals and stuff like that. So whenever I see an animal, I'm like, you know what? what what's the message? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started for my Gemini's. Uh, Spirit, what does Gemini need to hear from today, January 27th through January 31st, please, Spirit? Please give me a clear message for Gemini's. All right. Emperor at the bottom. All right. So let's go ahead and cut the deck. Gemini. Okay, y'all. All right. I'm hoping for some good news for y'all, all right? All right. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. The Hermit. Four of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. All right, guys, so um, okay, all right, so you guys, the King of Pentacles, and really quick, I'm going to show you guys this, y'all, so the King of Pentacles, you know, he is a practical guy, right, so he's a king, so he has learned a lot, he has a lot of life experiences, um, he is a boss, he is about his money, but he's very practical, right? Because he does not, he does, he's not really a risk taker um, because he has learned how to get here practicality, using practicality, okay? So he has grapes, um, a lot of greenery. So that is abundance, you know, growth. And the yellow always talks about enlightened. So he has a lot of knowledge, okay? So I feel like the overall, the overall energy is like, being practical about the next steps that you make, okay? Um, because that is how you're going to be able to get to that new cycle. So the Hermit is always going within. All the answers that you need um, is always within you, okay? If you do need help, go to the higher, the higher, the, those that are higher, right? Spirit, God, Source, Universe, um, because they are going to be in your best intentions, the hermit has, he's hes by himself, you know, not being scared to be alone, not being afraid to go within to find those answers, okay? Um, the Four of Wands talks about a, a solid foundation. Um, so being able to kind of look back at how far you've come and taking a minute to celebrate it, right? Acknowledging your growth, acknowledging after that time alone how much you have grown and you know, you can't stop there, but it is certainly a time where you can take a break and be like, you know, your girl, your girl came a long way, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune just talks about over always changing, right? So if you want it to be in your favor with the, with the King of Pentacles, you got to go with the flow. And how do you go with the flow? You go within, right? What feels right to you? What's speaking to your soul? Because the intuition is always going to lead you right and intuition is that that higher power right so going with the flow so you don't get left behind there's one man that's kind of he's getting tossed off the wheel you know change is always that's one thing that doesn't change <laughs> is change okay so change is always going around so you want to make sure that in order to get that 
solid foundation with that King of Pentacles that you go within to seek those answers, you know, trust yourself because you've gotten this part, you've gotten this far, right? So you definitely um, deserve the acknowledgement. You definitely deserve, um, you, you deserve the right to trust with yourself and know that you know what you're doing. Okay, let's get clarifiers. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, y'all. Okay, sorry, let me clear this. You can never go wrong when you go within, okay? And the Ace and the King of Pentacles, there's some kind of brand new opportunity. Um, maybe it's a relationship, right? Maybe it's a business. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a promotion. Um, but the Hermit knows who he is, right? He has a lot of experience. He has a lot of knowledge. And because of that, he's able to go for these new opportunities, okay? Um, so just definitely a matter of not being scared to be alone, to find out who you are, find out where your powers are, find out where your weaknesses are, um, and really kind of get to know self, you know, all the wisdom is always within you guys. Um, so it's just a matter of like sometimes taking a time out from society and just find out, you know, who am I? Because it's looking like you're the king of pentacles, <laughs> all right? Um, clarifying the four of wands is the six of cups. Okay, um, so it could it, it could also mean right the King of Pentacles maybe um, maybe you are wanting somebody who displays characteristics of the King of Pentacles right so maybe you have the King of Pentacles maybe coming back to you right the Six of Cups always talks about a soulmate um, talks about something from the past or a deep connection right especially with the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. Um, Maybe somebody could be coming back from the past and you guys are going to be able to build on a solid foundation after they've had some time to go within and do some soul searching and really kind of find out who it is that they want, what it is that they want, and now they're ready, right? Now they're ready to kind of give you this brand new opportunity, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like, you know what, now that you had that time to kind of take a step back and see who you are, maybe they see your worth, they see your value, and now they want to start a new cycle with you. Yeah, so Ten of Wands, laying down the burdens, okay? So what used to be is not going to be anymore, okay? Um, so the Ten of Wands just always talks about, you know, um, rearranging things, carrying, not carrying things on that no longer need to be there, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, right? In order for you to be able to go with the flow, you got to be able to let the old go and just roll with the punches, roll with the new that's coming into your life. So whether that be, you know, uh a relationship that's coming back, okay, as long as they put in the work, y'all go ahead and go for it, or whether that be just your everyday life that's burdensome to you, um, make sure that you take the necessary steps that if you're wanting, whatever it is that you're wanting, to go within, go within to find those answers, trust yourself, because you guys have all the knowledge, also all the power, I always like to emphasize that, within you, okay, um, the king of pentacles, like I said, he's very practical, y'all, um, he knows what he's doing, and that's the hermit, you know what you're doing, it's just a matter of you taking the time out to go within, all right, so if this is a love relationship, you know, good things coming in, burdens being laid down, and a new start, you know, a new start, or if it's a career, or job opportunity, um, you know, 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 know your worth, and take the necessary steps be practical about it okay um if you're not ready know that you're not ready but the four of wands talks about you've already kind of built a solid foundation so you definitely have reason to kind of look back and celebrate all right so let's go ahead and get um, i always use my wisdom of the oracle let's go ahead and see what we have right all right so what do we have, please, for our Gemini from today? Um, today, January 27th to January 30th. Okay. Um, just really quick, I wanna, I do wanna say another thing, you guys. Um, with. With with the um 
with the King of Pentacles, you guys definitely just, it's really important. I can't express this enough. It's really important to make sure that you do leave the past in the past, right? So sometimes the Six of Cups could talk about, you know, just staying in the past and then not moving forward, right? And the Four of Wands talks about building a solid foundation, but you need to keep going in order to continue to get to the victory, right? Which is the six of the six of wands or, you know, just to continue to progress on in life. So making sure that you're laying down any oh, laying down any burdens. Sorry guys. Getting rid of um getting rid of, getting rid of any old habits, right? That may just have you kind of stuck and not moving forward. Because ultimately, the, the king of pentacles, he's not stagnant. He's a go-getter, okay? And that's kind of maybe where it requires you to go within. Go within and find out who you are. Find your strengths and work off of those. Because this new opportunity is here. And you got to believe in yourself, right? So um, the thinker card flipped over. Going to take it. I know I didn't cut, but... When it flips like that, y'all, we got to take it, okay? So it's the number 44. Right? Which is the number 8. And the 8 is the infinity, right? Things are always changing. Got to go with the flow, you know? It, it, the cycle doesn't stop, okay? So it's a matter of, like, going with the flow, not staying stuck. You can't stay stuck. The king of pentacles... He didn't get to where he was at by just having an idea. Like, he had to be a go-getter. He had to action the idea. Okay? So, going within and knowing what it is you want and knowing who you are. All right. So, um, the thinker. The thinker. Okay? Um, strategy being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct, for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life if you're playing right now, or the game of life that you're playing right now. You guys, the Hermit card, he has all the answers within. Sometimes it just takes him a minute to be able to realize that, and that's why he goes into solitude mode, okay? Um, if it's a relationship message... Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work, and should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is the time to indulge. Now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy. No matter what, in this case, the facts are the facts. Okay, and that sometimes it's that Six of Cups energy, you know, just fantasizing on the, or reminiscing on the past. If the past don't make, if, if, if he not, if he or she are not, is not the King of Pentacles, y'all, leave the past in the past, okay? Um, you gotta go with the flow. Lay down the burdens. Let me keep going on. And, um, the last one for prosperity, okay? Calculated action is called for now. It is. It's important to sit down and plan a strategy. Focus on the steps you're going to take to claim your pros prosperous life. Prosperous life. <laughs> Lists are your friend now. So get out your journal. Write down what you're going to do today to signal to the universe that you're serious about attracting abundance. Your plans and strategies will yield wonderful results. Remember your most effective strategic partner is spirit. You will win this game and your triumph will be for the highest good of all. Y'all, spirit be coming through with the come through, y'all. Go within, okay? You go within. You're gonna get your eight of your ace of pentacles. You gotta think like you gotta think like the king though. King of Pentacles, he's the boss, okay? Lay down the burdens, anything, people, places, things, thoughts, anything that is not helping you to keep this will flowing to what it is that you want, which is this ace of pentacles, let it go. Alright, let it go. Um and Continue to build on your solid foundation. Leave the past in the past if it's not helping you move forward. And, um, yeah, y'all, that's what I have. So, once again, like and subscribe to your girl's channel. Comment below. Let me know if this resonated with you. And, as always, y'all, talk to me. I talk back. Peace.